Hi, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf from the 2019 PGA Show Demo Day. I'm here with Chris Foschel from Mizuno. We're going to talk a little bit about the new Mizuno equipment releases for 2019. We've got the ST190 drivers with us here. Can you tell us a little bit about the ST190 drivers? For sure. It's awesome here at the demo day because typically the Mizuno booth is always full of people hitting irons. Mm -hmm. We got here people here hitting woods right now, right. which is pretty cool. And that's because of the technology behind the ST190 line. So the biggest things we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure we're getting the speed right. So mm -hmm. speed, there's a couple things that play into that. There's the face material, which is the ST. 700 material which is featured in both of these heads mm -hmm. it's going to increase the overall ball speed based off of the material properties right. of that titanium because it recovers from deformation quicker so you're going to get quick ball speed off the face mm -hmm. but that's ball speed on the center then you got to make sure you get good ball speed across the entire face so yep. I utilize what we call a wave technology sole yep. as well which is a cutaway in the sole that's going to make sure that the bottom of the club acts like the top of the club as well so the COR doesn't drop off quickly on off center mm -hmm. hits it's going to overall increase the, the ball speed all across the face. On top of that, we went on both of these heads, on the ST190 and the ST190G, we put a composite crown on here. That composite crown allowed us more discretionary weight that we freed up to pull the mass lower for an easier launch, but that discretionary weight we utilize in different ways. On the ST190, we put it back in the head. That back in the head yep. is going to increase the moment of inertia. On the ST190G, we utilize the extra weight in the form of two 7-gram yep. tungsten weights. Those are going to allow us to adjust the spin rate and also adjust the left to right bias by utilizing where they're placed within for that sure. track. Push them forward for spin down, pull them back for spin up. For sure, yeah, and it's it's funny to hear some of the stories already of some of the tour pros that have been enamored with the yeah. ST190 Woods, um, leaving some of the more popular brands, we'll say, and um, instead choosing the ST190. It's awesome, and Mizuno, again, I talked about people here to hit the woods, tour players are asking for these, which we haven't had that as long as I've been at Mizuno. So I'm really stoked about that. And that just goes to the ultimate performance is built into this. Quality materials, quality technology, all resulting in better better fitting capabilities and better performance. So we are really excited about the tour's reaction and the tour's mm -hmm. acceptance of these SD190 woods. Mm -hmm. I even heard a little bit of a story about uh, Keith Mitchell. He's a tour pro, yeah. I believe he's a rookie last year. That's right. Uh, and he actually went in and tested and he was so enamored with it that he was the one that I was referring to that left right away and it was kind of funny that he almost went in not initially thinking he would switch and he sure did. It's an awesome story because Keith drives the ball great. That's his advantage mm -hmm. out there on tour. Good ball speed, really consistent striker and his whole thing is his driver's the best club in yep. his bag and he never, he was going in to do a test just to go through the motions, just to do the test, not looking to change but the performance stood out and he was able to go straight into it and it's amazing how out on tour as, as long, even like in your foursome, you need something to break the ice, right. you know, and that mm -hmm. was the icebreaker for the SD190 line on tour was Keith Mitchell, a guy who drives the ball great, putting it in the bag, and since then it's beginning to explode. Mm -hmm. And now, Chris, looking at these different clubs here, we have I have the ST190G, yep. you have the ST190 standard. Yes. Um, what type of players are we looking for for each of these drivers? It's tricky. That question is always a tricky one because it's like I hate to pigeonhole one as the higher handicapper, one as the lower handicapper because both of these are designed to be custom fit for whatever you need. So what we really say is if you want one that's a little bit more stable, one that's more designed to go straight, that's probably the ST190. If you want one that you can manipulate a little bit more, if you're trying to overly correct a draw or correct a slice, the more adjustable ST190G is going to give you more of those options. So what we're looking for is when you're going through your custom fitting, it's a, t it's a discussion with your, with your instructor, with your fitter of here's what my driver does, here's what I want to fix. And from there it steers you in one direction or the other. Sure. And specifically here with the ST190G, there's two weights here um, kind of on each side of the sole. Yes. Um, can you explain a little bit of how they're used? Can they be moved around on both sides? Or is it, are they just split evenly like this? That's How's the cool that thing about it is as, as it's placed here, it's one on each side and that's the neutral setting mm -hmm. of it is one on each side because you're equally balancing the toe and the heel weighting. Right. You can slide them forward for lower spin, slide them back for higher spin. But because these tracks are open on the back side, what's great is they're not locked into those tracks. So you could actually take this heel weight and put it on the toe as well. Oh. So pulling 14 grams to the toe or pull them both into the heel, 14 grams into the heel. Ultimately, that's going to allow you to really manipulate the left to right bias of the golf club. Again, custom fitting discussion, looking at your overall numbers, and are you wanting to see the ball fall right to left? Do you want to see it go straight? Do you want to see it go fall left to right? Awesome. Chris, I really appreciate the time, and uh, this was some great information for us. Awesome. Really Thank it. you guys so much.